All right. What's cooking, everybody? Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple okay. strip. So, Lamar, action, Jackson, two times, two times. Now one person sat there and voted for Josh Allen. Stop. Another history being made. Cause hit one of the histories being made is Lamar is the first ever to be two-time MVP at the age of what? I think they said 26, 27, something like that. First time ever, something like that happening. But that just shows the greatness of Lamar Jackson. We are like witnessing history. There are so many haters out there. Oh, he never should have won. It should have been Josh Allen. Josh Allen threw like 18 interceptions, something like that, and cost his team to lose. Can you really say that about Lamar Jackson? Regular season reward for him causing his team to lose? I can't think that. Then you look at other people wanting to reward Miles. Coming off the stripe of my head, Miles Garrett, TJ Watt. It was kind of kind of a battle. But Miles Garrett team went to the playoffs. So that probably comes in hand, even though it's a regular season reward, quote unquote. Then some people say Puka should have win, but I'm like, quarterback is a lot harder than wide receiver. Right? The Texans picked number two, and they made it to the playoffs. They had a rookie defense as well, rookie of the year defensive player as well. Like they they doing some stuff. They doing some stuff. I actually forgot. I didn't even look at the reward. I, I woke up and I was like, "Oh, Lamar, you won!" Oh, I forgot about it, y'all. I was sleepy, working hard. That's why these videos haven't been popping out like that. I'm trying to, hey, I'm donating to myself, trying to get the camera so it can be more 4K because this camera's old. But anyway, hey, but I am blessed with what I have. Hey, man. Anyway, so we got the awesome news of Lamar, but I also didn't talk about the bad news. Zay Flowers incident um, being investigated. Now, I did see a tweet. I don't know if it's official, but they said the investigation closed and they found out it was really his ex-girlfriend tripping. Um, and it wasn't him being uh, uh, Deshaun Watson. No. Uh, I can't say Deshaun Watson. I can say Miles Bridges. Yeah, he wasn't being a Miles Bridges. Um, but anyway, like when I saw that news, I was like, should I make a video about that being in my own a personal opinion? I'm like, I can't say, man, nah, he didn't do that because we don't, we don't know people like what happened. You know what I'm saying? But if I was to judge what I see on camera and his family, I don't believe that stuff going to happen. Like, I don't believe it. Like, he got too many brothers and sisters. Like, come on. Come on. I know when I was younger, if a female messed with me, my sister would handle up. My sister would handle up. Oh, I have some homegirls at school will handle up. <laughs> but hey, that's why I was like, man, I ain't gonna judge it. But hopefully the news is true that it's exposed and hopefully they get the girl for lying. Okay, but anyway, Lamar two-time MVP. I know this is a little bit off topic. It just popped in my head. Patrick Willis. I'm a huge fan of Patrick Willis, y'all. That was like Ray Lewis to me. That was like, like, look, baby, Ray Lewis Jr. to me when he was playing. Now we got, like, Ray Lewis the third with Roquan. But he's getting in the Hall of Fame. That was, I was, he, to me, he should have been in there last year. But the great news about that is next year, if I remember right, they said Marshall Yonder and Terrell Suggs can be in the Hall of Fame. Now, if they both can go into the Hall of Fame at the same time, oh, that would be 
That would be awesome. That would be awesome to have an offensive player from the Ravens going to Hall of Fame and a defensive player in the Ravens going to Hall of Fame at the exact same time. Woo, that would be sweet. That would be sweet. But, hey, I just wanted to share some of that news with y'all. Just top of my head. So, uh, but, yeah, the Lamar Jackson news, awesome. Like, we're witnessing history, y'all. Like we all know he gotta he gotta win that Super Bowl. Some people say, man, he just gotta make it. I want him to I want him to be the Tom Brady of our of the, the, the new generation era. I can't say our era because I'm old. But the new generation era. Just like what he said, like kids looked up to he looked up to Michael Vick. Michael Vick didn't get it. So he knows kids is looking up to him. So what else can you be? You two time already. You got that record. Now you just bring them Super Bowl trophies home. Bring them. You'll have freaking statues out there in front of the bank. Because he's already doing magical things. So hey, yeah, y'all stay safe. Just want to be sure to spill with y'all. I already know. Hit that subscribe. Hit the like. And God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency yeah. To the point if you meant real You would tell him that he keeps it me The knob on 11 really turned up really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle No knob on 11 baby turned up Be knocked, let it hit you with the